Kravitz, opinion editor of Berkeley Political Review. It's 12.51 p.m. on November 2nd, 2011, and uh, we finally arrived at 14th and Broadway. We left at like 11.20, so a bit later than expected, but now we're going to go down to the UCOP office, which I've heard is apparently also the place where the uh, Oakland Police is headquartered. I'm not sure, though, so we'll find out. So this is the picket in front of Citibank. Of course it's like 1.13 p.m. now, so I don't know how effective it was in the early morning when most people would actually probably go in. But uh, the person also made an announcement over there, and it's really cool because they have uh, someone uh, doing sign language too, so everyone can hear it, even if you can't hear, of course, or you're hearing impaired. Um, uh, and they were saying that, you know, the workers are not the target, and the customers aren't the target either, so I'm not even sure whether maybe they have been allowing people to cross the picket line and stuff, but regardless, uh, they've been out here for a long time. I'm going to show you a sign they have. Okay, so we're gonna keep this 
program going. I know we're having some technical difficulties, but we're going to keep it moving in, in the face of that. Um, I've got I got a bunch of people down here. No, I want to bring up some speakers. I got a young man that's a principal of a school. That wants to say a few words. I am in this principal school. Wants to say a few words. Come on, brother. No, I. The anti-capitalist march is going to leave from Telegraph and Broadway at 2 p.m. At 4 p.m., the first march is going to go to shut down the port of Oakland. We know some of it is shut down, but not all of it. So we got to shut down the rest of it at 4 p.m. At 5 p.m., there's the second march that's going to go shut down the, the port of Oakland. And those two marches at 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. are leaving from here from 14th and Broadway.